Welcome back, friends, to the shop. We've got a little side-by-side -side comparison, a cheap versus expensive in the portable air compressors. I am going to find out if this thing is any good with you guys today. I first saw it on AVE's channel. He took it all apart and got into it, and I think he basically his summary was, it's not terrible. But the handiness of having something that you can just grab that's that's got its own power uh, is very alluring to me for lawnmowers and all those little things that you need and airing up tires and up here in the snow we're constantly changing tire pressure for traction. I had the misfortune of, uh, or I have the misfortune of owning this horrible um, compressor that I had to buy I think at a Walmart at the beach when I got stuck in the sand with the adventure van and this is the <laughs> <laughs> this is really a terrible piece of junk. It takes forever, but it got it done. Uh, but at $40, um, uh, that's kind of what you get. But it does have a built-in flashlight. So we're going to do a test to see how this one stacks up to the Milwaukee. But as a note here, if you're watching manufacturers, this is how an interface should be done. As a professional homeowner, I don't want menus anymore. I don't want to go into menus for anything. I want one button that does one thing and they got it right here. Check it out. One, we got to put the battery in it. Of course, I got a 6.0 and a 3.0. You can run any of the batteries. But check this out. Turn it on. All right. The coolest thing about this is that let's say I want to run this up to whatever. Whatever I set that at, the compressor is automatically going to stop at that pressure and not over inflate. You have one button to turn it on. You have a plus and minus. This is pressure down. This is pressure up. If you press and hold, it will jump in increments of five. And you have an on button for the compressor. On for the electronics, on for the compressor. And if you get confused and you need to back out, you just turn it off, right? And you get a second crack at it. <laughs> but that's pretty good. And as far as the hoses go, these that's always the weakness in these little cheap compressors. Uh, and then this one doesn't have its own power. So this now is relying upon your PowerPoint or your cigarette plug. And you've got a little short cord. It works. Even with the adventure van, there was enough cable uh, where I had to go through a window uh, to get to the rear corner. But uh, I did get the tire. But we've got the standard cheapo chintzy inflator uh, with a plastic thing that will break off. This one is quite nice. It has a much better quality of hose. It feels more supple, but it has a solid brass, a solid brass threader. And I prefer these. I, I don't like these things. They're, you're always fiddling with them and they pinch your fingers and they're hard to get off and they, they're just, they're awful. They're really awful. This is better. And solid brass, that's nice. It has, nice, it has weight. It feels good. And then there's also, which is very handy, um, if you're inflating soccer balls. I don't know that I've, I have used those before. We're not a ball sport family. So I'm sure those of you who are, are very familiar with those. But where are they when you need them? And the fact that they're all caged back here with all the different inflators. I mean, you could, I guess you could do your air mattress there. But that's pretty nice to have that there and it coils up and stores. But one of my favorite features is that it, it gets so it's made this to sit flat like this, and this lowers its profile. And with this, it fits in my bottom drawer, my tool cart. All right, brothers, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use an ARB deflator. I'm gonna take this tire down to 20 PSI, and we'll start with the Milwaukee. And we'll m measure the time with the stopwatch to see how long it takes to go from 20 to, let's say, 80. This is an ARB deflator. Very nice Australian company. All the stuff I've had from them has been the best quality, solid brass, heavy, nice gauge, good hose. Uh, well, what this does, it's a very clever tool. You thread it onto your Schrader valve. Now this plunger pushes in and you actually remove the valve core itself. The valve core is contained in the tool, so it won't fly out and you won't lose it in the gravel. And then you pull this here until you receive your desired air pressure. And 20. The tire is sitting at 20. We'll take it up to 80. Nice to see there's enough hose on there that you can get to the top of the valve stem on even a tall tire. 
some of those short ones. You have to prop it up. This is a brand new compressor, unused in a brand new M12 6.0 battery, unused as well. I just opened them. Let's boot up this elegantly simple UA. All right, as we're sitting at 20.5, I'll hold this down and we'll take it up to 80. Man, to be able to turn this loose and not monitor it, that's worth a great deal, I think, to me for sure, and I think probably to a lot of you as well. 80 PSI and let us proceed. At 12 minutes, that 6.0 battery died and we're sitting at 47.5 PSI. Brand new 3.0 battery. I've never used it. That is it, 25 minutes. And I don't think we made it up to pressure yet. Dead battery flashing, temperature warning flashing. It is warm, not hot, but it made it up to 65 PSI. So that's just, I'm gonna say, you know, it's not ready for prime time. This is not uh, super duty rated, so to speak. We got the slime plugged in. You know, I've always questioned the wisdom of the marketing department that came up with that name. Let's see. Take it down to 20. The Milwaukee took 25 minutes, almost a half hour, to get to 65 PSI. Let's, starting at 20, we'll start the slime now. I give in. Life is too short to listen to that thing rattle. That thing's been going on for 13 minutes and hasn't moved the dial but 5 PSI. All right, I think we have seen everything we need to see. All right, let's go to the conclusion. What did we learn? Was it able to do the job that we tasked it to do? No. Was it slow and not super efficient? Yes, <clears throat> could it have gotten the job done, given enough batteries, maybe. It seems to really suffer over that 50 PSI mark. I would say that um, don't expect it to go beyond that. But even with all of that, will I return it? Uh, not on your life. I think it's super, super nice for the smaller jobs. Trailer tires, small car tires, lawn mowers. Um, it's great. Is it gonna replace a compressor? Well. Yeah, if you don't have one. I mean, it's better than not having a... I mean, really the days of the compressor, setting up the shop, I kind of have been rethinking things and I've always had this mindset that I need to do this built-in system with all these airlines and drains. I'm kind of rethinking that now. Our tools have kind of going cordless. A lot of those things that we relied upon, like impact wrenches, impact ratchets, um, you know, those, except for like really heavy industrial or big production, most guys are using cordless and you guys probably have the same thing. So maybe just having one air hose uh, to blow dust and things off um, is really all we're using our compressors for. I mean, to be honest, and inflating tires. Um, but you can do that same thing with a small compressor. So is it perfect? No, but it, I mean, up to 50 PSI, it, it, it's adequate and it seems to um, be well balanced. It didn't shake around much. It kind of stayed right where I put it. Uh, compared with uh, the slime, which was really cheesy and bounced all around. I really like it. The price I paid for this, I think these are on promotion right now. It was, I think it was $119 or so, and that came with a charger and a, a smaller battery. I don't know if it's a very big battery. I don't remember. Um, but I think it was like $120. Bucks, and I thought that was really fair. I mean, um, I thought that was really fair, uh, to be honest. I've never seen a little a little compact compressor that was as built as nice as this. 
and it has the ability to program and shut off by itself is, is very nice. I like that. So yeah, I'd say that that is a win. Um, it's a nice little unit. All right, thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video.